Welcome back to the Black Parade. We managed to get into the Hawtree Mansion. We stole the seven portraits. And uh, I was never, never explained why their portraits were skeletons. But I guess that explains why they all look the same, right? Because just bones. Hard to tell the difference. Um. Bones covered in jewels. Um, and. But no harp. We were sent there specifically by the wall for the harp. And what, what have we been doing? We were come back empty handed and said there wasn't. No, there wasn't a harp. It was. Yeah, there was just some dudes doing zombie science, but no harp. Oh, and some weird thing talked to me, and I don't know what it means. So it's always branded? Is that like corporate sponsorship? Got logos on me? I don't know. Let's find out what it means. Hey, you're you, right? Come here. We want to have a little chat with you. <laughs> the boss is displeased with you. But sends his regards nonetheless. Find a quick of a keystone of our order. And yet, even though we never deviate from our goal, the sheer amount of knowledge and observation required to ensure the balance is kept intact sometimes makes us blind. Ever since I touched that hideous, accursed statuette, I've been witnessing things I've never seen before and it makes my skin crawl. Ethereal gliding glows appear and vanish. Statues whisper and strange hooded figures observe people from afar and walk in crowds where not a bloody soul notices them. I feel like my body and mind are playing tricks on me. These guys aren't phantoms, they're flesh and bone, and yet nobody seems to acknowledge their existence. I've been carefully watching these people for a few days. And they all appear to go to the same place, deep into the bowels of the city. They must have some sort of underground lair or something akin to that. I've even seen some of them walk through solid walls with strange glimmering symbols on them that again, nobody seems to even see. What's interesting is that most of these guys carry books, large ones at that too. Could they perhaps be linked to the necromancers I found in the derelict Howtree Manor? Is this the gift this damn statuette talked about? I intend to know the truth. Today. My apartment window gives me a good view on the streets, and it just so happens that one of these hooded blokes is walking by. Following his trail will hopefully lead me to their meeting point, and if they are linked to the necromancers, Perhaps I can find some useful information on how to get rid of that curse. That is, if I can trail him unnoticed while avoiding the local watchdogs. These guys are on edge because of a sudden increase in burglaries in the district, no doubt perpetrated by the famous Downwind Thieves Guild. My ghoulish attire will bring me trouble if I'm seen, even during the day. But there's a storm coming and the foggy streets of the industrial district are mostly deserted. 
so I shouldn't have too much trouble if I'm careful. I have no idea what I'm going to find by following this guy, but it's certainly better than staying here and waiting for a painful death. Wait, what? The cutscene just before this was us going through one of those keeper doors, wasn't it? And then he wants to, it feels like the cutscene should come after the this mission. Like, at the end of this mission we get accosted by the walls guys and go through the keeper door that we would follow the keeper to. I don't know, it's a little weird. Also, I guess I guess wait and see. I was gonna say it's a strange choice to decide that okay, you're now playing. You're just discovering these weird group. The problem is we already know all about the keepers. They're not weird. They're not mysterious to us. They are only to Hume, and it makes I don't know. It kind of sucks some of the drama out of the revelations that he's now seeing this hidden side of the city. The his old hat to us. Uh, but we'll see we'll see where it goes. Discover the hideout of these hooded figures. The one you've just spotted might be your best chance. While your hunting prowess will aid you best in tracking the hooded figure, don't forget that you're a thief first and foremost. Fill your pockets with at least 1,600 worth of valuables. Are we supposed to be trailing this guy and get 1,600? That's a lot. Turn to your rented department when you're done. Okay. Guess I'll stay on expert. I mean... <laughs> one spot's job has left you broke mentally and financially. Yeah. Again, very weird that the briefing made no mention of the walls demands or the be apparently being accosted by the walls guys. It feels like there's threads that are not being carried through the way you'd expect, or the way I'd expect. I don't know about you. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. I don't know why I always stop talking when I continue expecting it to jump straight into the mission. It never jumps straight into the mission. That'd be a nice change for Thief, to have to do all the loading while you're at the objective screen, reading out the objectives and deciding on difficulty level. Alright, start with a couple of disruptions, a lot of broadheads, only one rope, which is... I mean, one rope is good, but it's not ideal if uh, things get... Sticky. Like, if I have to leave a rope somewhere because I can't... Two moss. Gas mine. Six fi oh, six, 650. I mean, gas mines are great, but I'm not going to pay 650 for one. I was thinking it would be 500. I'd pay 500 for one. Alright, I'll get another couple moss. Get another flash bomb. One more water, one more broadhead. Is that good? I think that's good. So, am I going to fail the mission if I don't follow this guy? Like in uh, Assassins, I mean, probably, right? Don't do the candle burning. Where's the stairs down? How come I didn't know the way around my own damn apartment? I'm so forgetful. That's not the front door, is it? Oh, okay, it will do. Dang, have I lost them already? there. Oh. That's 
not him, is it? I mean, he's dressed in green, he's kind of dressed like a keeper, but I thought the guy I saw was wearing more black. He's only not watching his back, I guess. Oh, now he's starting to go faster. I guess the thing about being a keeper is you're not... You're expecting nobody who's going to see you, right? Nobody knows about you. You don't have to check if you're being followed, because who could possibly be following you, a keeper? any loot by the time we do this. I guess we'll have to hope we get some opportunity to uh, run around the streets and steal stuff later. to this tavern. What for? The horses are forbidden in this ward since the burgomaster slipped on a cake. <laughs> That's right. But the new Animal Law Amendment Act obliges all taverns in downtown to be equipped with stalls under penance of fine. Lord Mayor's orders. What the taff? This doesn't even make sense. These stupid laws contradict themselves can't disagree with that. But these stupid laws, as you say, distinguish us from filthy pagans. Come see me at the police station tomorrow. <laughs> well, maybe we'll lose the game of following, but obviously we had to listen to a conversation. Right? It's no more important things than the mission. Church of St. Phyllis, Sarah, Felicia. So he came in here and went... Hmm, we definitely have lost him. <laughs> Father Simon, who is sadly misguided, is trying to help Cardinal Berengier, but I believe the superior Cardinal Bellarmine shall harshly punish him, as it should be, and as it shall be. Wait, dost thou doubt Father Simon's intentions? Our good father has never strayed from the Builder's path, and he thinks Cardinal Berengier did nothing wrong, as do I. Thou wouldst be wise to listen to him. How can thou say such things? Truly the trickster hath gotten to thee. Look around thee, brother. Thou knowest it to be the truth. How dare thou question my holy faith in the Builder? The Builder has no use for skeptics and naysayers such as thee. I might have to reload save because. Didst thou see that too? Thought I saw. And the word went. All seems peaceful now. We seem to have lost our fine feathered friend. We wouldn't have gone up there, right? Dang it, guys! Why do you put conversations in a place where I have to decide between doing the mission and doing the conversation? Like, you're not making me fail the mission, but really this should be a fail the mission. Because I don't know where the guy's gone. And, right, and, well, and... Oh shit, I did not save anything. Alright. We'll go down the quick way then. I thought I'd been saving along the way. My mistake. Nice fancy transparent vases. Uh, they must cost a lot of money. Who's there?
something there. Nothing now. And it definitely answers the question of this is the right uh, guy to be following, yes. Also, apparently I've been saying the cardinal's name wrongly. Not Beringia, like he was a Beringia, Beringia. Texture that's usually used for non doors. Give, give generally for the builder's plan. Oh, he did go that through that door. But he turned right. Oh, no, this is this is where I went. Father Simon, who is sadly misguided, is trying to help Cardinal Berengier. But I believe the superior Cardinal Bellarmine shall harshly punish him, as it should be, and as it shall be. Well, dost thou doubt Father Simon's intentions? How good Father never Well, okay. Up until that room, I was on the right track, but uh, I didn't even see the staircase. a really good thing in a mission like this is a place where you can't where you get forced to you know be held up a little bit behind and there's a fork ahead and you just have to have been listening to the footsteps and to know which path of the fork they took right they took the the one with the metal or the wood or the stone or whatever i mean metal would make it really obvious but you could do Stone or wood. Four four two nine. Objectives. What is this place? It would be wise to find some information on who these guys are. Do I start with that or do I go and look for loot? I mean, I don't know. Can I even get out? Probably not, right? I can see the grip, but can I use it? Okay, we, I can. Hmm. 
Hmm. Some kind of sentinel... A keyhole? What do these guys call themselves? Like the Order of the Padlock or something? City security force. Spilling ink of such an ancient text. Simply unforgivable. Well, they probably wouldn't be happy to see me in here, right? That's... See, now I'm looking at every pile of books and wondering if the book on top is, is significant or not, even though most piles of books have not been. Hello. E map. Reliquary, Blue Flame Tower, Central Library. Wow, this is an enormous place. Absolutely enormous. Scribe, Cedric. We welcome you to First Keeper's Watch. Your task here will be to assist Keeper Julian with his chronicle on the ancient artifacts found in Carathin. You'll find a map of the compound with this letter so you can get acquainted with these sacred halls. We trust you will prove an excellent acolyte. Yours in knowledge. Superior Elder Nathaniel. Part of me is itching to go back up to the streets. So they have guards. Do you sense it? Sense of what? This is a good peculiar aura. The Carathon oh, the antiquity section with yes. the modern paganic one. Now that you mention I it, mean, I've never felt on. anything quite like it before. You may have been compromised. Come, let us inform the others. Just when I thought this city couldn't get any more sinister. There's a whole damn secret organization under it. Still nervous from the lip experiment. Starting to see things. Where is that book again? Ah, can't find anything in here. Okay, so I guess I came in here. That would be the central library that I picked into, and I'm just near the north tower. There's a reliquary up in the North Tower, you know, that's, that sounds... Hmm, I wonder what the interpreter meant by this. Oh. There's, a, there's a relic already. Mm -hmm. Oh, darn it, he had to turn to face this way, didn't he? He's going again. What the? That book doesn't belong here. Just sworn he was just gonna walk into me right there. So I, would, I just was taking a snack while waiting for him to patrol past, and he uh, decides to walk right up to me. Of course, that clip was right. That's um. Made for quite the moment of tension. I couldn't, and I couldn't speak at all, which was uh, <clears throat> it felt thematically fitting. Okay, that one's not readable this time. That's valuable there. They don't understand. No, they don't understand. The unwritten 
times are coming. 20 chapters explaining why empiricism is the method of the modern intellectual. Preface by Gilderoy Pomerton. Elliot Damo's most outrageous lie is thus. As a disciple of the Pyrillian school, he thought that reality was divided into two worlds. The invisible world of perfect forms and the imperfect material world, which was nothing but an imperfect reflection of the invisible world. I and my gentle readers strongly disagree, for the logic he used to come to such conclusions is, by his own definition, a mere shadow of the true truth. That is the true logic. Therefore, the entirety of his philosophy of truth and logic can only be restricted to the material world with, with which he lives in, and does bad grammar in, and not to the outside world, whose version of truth and logic might be different, or in Polyodamus's own words, perfect. Imperfect realities beget imperfect illusions. Our perception of what a tree is in comparison to a stone is merely our imperfect understanding of what differentiates things. Therefore, how can Polyodamus know if the perfect form of a stone is not also the perfect form of a tree? The answer is that he can't know, being born in the material world. <coughs> Intellectual charlatan. Barely even worthy of the name charlatan. What the? That book doesn't belong here. Okay, there's a door. Sometimes I swear they keep it cold in here so we don't fall asleep. <sighs> These ancient halls are getting to know they don't must concentrate and the unwritten times are coming. What the? That book doesn't belong here. Okay. Use my skills of cunning and rogue <sighs> to climb a topless bookcase. <sighs> and will I regret no, doing so? Don't understand. Yes, I will. Yes, I can. And yes, I will regret it. Can't use put another rope in. Uh, I saw the gap and thought it was meant to be climbable, and it's not. I'm, I can't fit in the gap, and I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> Take it. Annoying. Don't they don't understand. No, they don't understand. The unwritten times are coming. How did he not walk into me there? Who is that? Show yourself. Okay. Must be a glyph playing tricks on me. Sometimes I swear they keep it cold in here so we don't fall asleep. Uh, he did walk into me, I suppose, but uh, these guys seem a lot less alert than the guards. How many times have I had guards walk into me and, you know, immediately see me from did this shadow just move? mere feet away? I see. You and. What the? How did you even manage to find this place? He's on to me, and that's a problem. We can't let him raise the alarm. These right? halls are not for profane eyes. You cannot be allowed to leave. Yeah, that's the problem. My aim is true, Rogue. Ah. Ha! <sighs> wash up my blood. my healing. I didn't see him, of course, but I guess that's the point. He was camouflaged. I don't feel very safe living in there. 
He's certainly not invisible anymore. I also don't know a better place to leave him. Well, this is what I came up here for, right? Maybe they've got some holy healing potions stashed away. This one I can't read. They had the same letter in another mission that I could read. I mean, of course, they're, like, they're just randomly... They throw scrolls and books that you can't read everywhere as well. Just make clutter. Chained bell. The inverted mask. That... Is that the harp I came to steal? Or maybe dwarves guys won't need to uh, hunt me down after all. It's like, look guys, I came here, randomly followed some guy on the street, and he led me to the harp. Amethyst harp, unstrung. Alright. It'll do, right? You don't need harp strings, anyone can supply harp strings. <laughs> that's somebody on this level that I can't see, or is it somebody on the level below that... I can't see because they're below me. So we've got to be the level below. What was that title again? Compendium. Cowardice is unbecoming, my dear. Just got to hear my footsteps. This dang noisy floor. that one. Oh, hello. That was an unintentional jump there, but, uh, hey, that's a happy accident. See if the guy was coming my way or not. Can I reach that from here? No, it's just a dang uh, rope that wants. Try a little closer and that window so we're not looking through the rope. Searching, he's not gonna find anything. It's uh, looking west on some hole. Came up the north tower, right? I mean, I guess I should guess where I am might not be on the map, being governed by secret doors. Oh, that's just the same door. Okay. didn't actually do anything. And we're not in the north of the tower, right? We went up to, to the reliquary, which is not on the map here. Well, I suppose this is the north tower. So that was odd. This is just a uh, nice little private sitting lounge, I guess. Nothing more exciting than that.
So I didn't. This is where we encountered our fine invisible friend. Dang noisy floor everywhere. Imagine playing this mission if you didn't hadn't figured out the creep, you'd just be completely screwed. I mean I know I know I can actually step on tile a little bit, but I'm just paranoid because it's hard to tell the the distances. Like what's what's a safe distance to be heard at? And what isn't? The old quarter catastrophe and assorted documents and observations by Keeper Felmos. The cataclysm is said to be a major example of an unresolved dark age and its consequences on our order and society. This interpretation of the signs not only forced our order to reveal its existence to the Hammerites, but also drew too much attention from foreign powers such as the Han Brotherhood. The reason behind the catas catastrophe, cat I was going to say cataclysm and got confused, the catastrophe is still undetermined, but it clearly originated in the Builder's Cathedral where one of the most powerful tensions was sealed. The many letters exchanged between the smith in exile and the council makes one wonder whether someone within that place tried performing forbidden rituals without considering the consequences of their actions. At first the catastrophe was kept secret, simply referred to as arson by the Hammerites and the police. Only on the fourth day did the public begin to suspect that the fire is much more insidious than the officials claimed. But despite there being rumours and even first-hand witness accounts, due to the denial and incredulity of the high-ranked population, action was taken too late, resulting in a hurried evacuation and deaths. Not only had the event greatly increased social tensions between the upper and lower classes, leading to a bloody riot in the Old Quarter, but it also had a devastating effect on the city's economy. The loss of the Mercantile Quarter, which specialised in bakery and ironwork, led to a massive shortage of bread and swords. In conclusion, the Old Quarter Catastrophe is an example of a Dark Age's consequences and the importance of our work. Okay, so the guy went in that door and I thought he was going to come out soonish. So was... Oh, did someone not go through this door? So that's where I was looking over. From just some kind of lecture hall here. I thought someone. Who... I sworn somebody went through this door. Alright, where are we? We're a big hall that goes faces east onto a staircase. That's not mapped anything here. Trustment Tower? No. Oh no, we're here. East. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. The dormitory is. Okay, there's the door. Dormitory door. Dormitory door. Dormitory door. At least where people are sleeping, they're not using noisy tile, are they? Oh, well, down there they are. <laughs> 191 so far. That's, we've got to get 1,600, which is kind of wild for. Uh, well, you're just going for a walk in the street to get 1,600. Convenient air vents, huh? Everyone has them. These old books look so weird. Like they're made of human flesh. What the? That book doesn't belong here. Who's making all that noise?
Anyway. That's it, Danny remarked. Sometimes I swear they keep it cold in here so we don't fall asleep. That table is an enormous keyhole shape. That's that's so tacky, guys. Come on, keepers. You should you should have more style than that. Which hole is this? We came east. It's not this one. It doesn't fit the shape. Well, it'd be the right place for it. Maybe it is this one. Nothing else. Nothing else seems to seem to fit. Oh no, 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 dining room. Okay, I'm an idiot. Looking at the wrong floor map. What am I trying to get to? I mean, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just like walking around, creeping through vents because they're there. Feels very. I don't know. I appreciate that the vents are not made of metal. It's not mechanist territory. Oh, and convenient beam in that we're working up to. Deus Ex theme intensifies. Alright, that those carrots. That's a nice touch, the knife that was chopping a uh, long loaf in half. Are we coming into the kitchens? I guess we're here. So if we go south, it's just going to be a dead end pantry, right? Yeah. The Codex of Fungi by Fellow Terraborn. Lumicus, inedible, common, found mainly in dark and humid environments. Also known as light mush, this mushroom is typically consumed by cave animals such as burrocks or the giant bats of bone who then spread its spores via their feces. In humans, consuming a light mush could cause intense pain in the stomach and make one's body fluids glow for up to a week, though it is not known to cause death. Secularius ungula, deadly, uncommon, found mainly in swamps and cemeteries. Known as the Trixus hoof, this is one of the most lethal mushrooms on the continent. Eating a trickster's hoof causes hallucinations, hematomesis, and finally death in less than three minutes. Due to its effects, possessing this mushroom is considered a crime in seven cities and heresy by the Hammerite Order. Green mold, inedible, common, found in many environments with decaying life forms. Also known as moss crystal, the green mold is a harmless fungus feeding from dead organic masses and water. It is recognizable by its specific shape, which looks like a crystal made of moss. Despite causing no damage, the mold it produces is invasive and several laws order its removal whenever discovered. Ingesting green mold is known to be good for the health, but its volatile aspect also means a high risk of suffocation. Therefore, it must only be administered by professional physicians. Selenus clavus, edible, rare, found in forests for several days following summer thunderstorms. Shaped like a red nail, this mushroom is difficult to notice due to its tiny size its unique spicy tastes and medicinal properties make this one of the most researched mushrooms in the region. Many scriptures refer to it as the ultimate remedy to all diseases, but there is no scientific evidence that proves this yet. High risk of suffocation from the moss arrows. Now, if three, you could shoot a moss arrow at a guard to cause them to choke and splutter and uh, kind of delay them. For a bit. I wonder if they've done that in here as well. I mean, they got the smoke bombs for the same effect, so... Okay, so we have... Let me run kitchen here. And... Let me put an X here. I mean, again, the map is so tiny. Annotating it's really hard. And when it's not an order map, I need to annotate it, right? Where was the... We went down these stairs. To here. That's, that's the vent was in this room, right? right? 
that's what I have. Of course, being in the event, it's easy for you to get around without being seen. But much less effective for being able to loot things. Sometimes I swear they keep it cold in here so we don't fall asleep. They keep it cold, that's why they're called keepers. What the? That book doesn't belong here. on me. Elder, is that you? Gotcha blind. Uh, can't find anything in here. I saw the gold candlestick several times, but I uh, was kind of busy trying not to be seen. So I was taking my sweet time nabbing it. Alright, that's much better. Nice soft table. So, the dormitory is west, and I guess if we're looking for personal effects. That's going to be a good place to start looking, right? What's the super loud ambience? Tone it down. God, that was the Blackbrook connection. It did not take long for the Baron to declare war against Blackbrook. The rival city had been raiding the vast farmlands and outposts belonging to the Barony for months at this point. And his guild of inventors was, and still is coming dangerously close to inventing the most powerful war machines mankind has ever seen. The Hammerite Order, which has a very strong presence in Blackbrook, wishes to remain neutral in this conflict. A fact that provoked the ire of both the Baron and Queen Annette of Blackbrook, who would almost go as far as to accuse them of conspiring to reap the benefits of the outcome of the war to the detriment of everyone else. The Guild of Inventors is coming dangerously close to inventing the most powerful war machines that mankind has ever seen, which is very funny given that I just played Patriot, which had Blackbrook uh, inventing new super robots to, to invade the city with. While it is not known at this time whether the Hammerites are taking any profit from the situation, what is known is that the Undermarket is thriving despite both city-states being in a state of total war. Indeed, it is quite common to see contraband, gold, goods, or even livestock smuggled across the front lines by sleazy merchants who have enough power and lucre to bribe soldiers and officers alike. Many criminal organizations have sent ambassadors and other representatives to both cities to establish a permanent connection between them. A relevant example would be how Jourdain and Mafiotis, two genius inventors with several factories in Blackbrook, have managed to sell their wares to the city's underworld for a hefty price, while keeping this operation a complete secret for now. Note, a thorough list of undermarket guilds and merchants is sorely needed. Right, for once I will not ask about, well if they kept it a complete secret, how did you write about it? Of course this is, these are keepers and secrets are their business. Hello, thank you, beautiful healing potion. I needed that. Where is that book again? Who goes there? Where? Who goes where? These ancient halls are hidden. You must concentrate. You can even brush aside these enormous ones, huh? I don't think I'd be able to cut it down then. Maybe. I guess I should try it. Right? Test. If I hit the middle of it, I'm sure I could. Right, that's just sign. It's just gonna say dormitory. This is a nice touch, the, uh, the blue, the, the, the starship holes in the walls that were in the uh, tutorial mission in the hallway. A compilation of Hammerlight treaties. 
Whereas the said persons have been notified and informed by the Holy Concilium of the Hammerite Order's said envoys, it was the decision of the Order to limit and control the seed's nature and origin here and after mentioned, and to take an oath of the good intention and to ensure peaceful trading relationship between the Order and their village. The said inhabitants of the village aforementioned do agree to cover, modify, or destroy any icon, fetish, or symbol described as impure or tarnishing according to the Hammerite Order's principles. Also, do they agree to accept to order the Hammerite Order's holy hammer icon within their village hall? Any villager involved in witchcraft is ordered to immediately renounce and pray to the Builder under the supervision of an official from the Hammerite Order in keeping with to the aforementioned laws. And with a view to show the satisfaction of the Hammerite Order with the behaviour and good conduct of the villagers to this treaty, the Holy Concilium of the Hammerite Order, through its envoys, makes them a present of ten pounds of nails and hammers for each inhabitant belonging to the village here mentioned. Wow. Either these guys uh, choose some very poor uh, bathroom reading material or uh, they're using books not for their intended purpose. So he's actually coming in here, but uh, no. Moss crystals grow abundantly. Wow. That's a ladder. No water crystals for me. I'll take that instead. 290. Nothing for me in here, okay. <sighs> I suppose now would be a good time to check out the center room here. A friend is not present. Do I really have to stand up? No, I can do this from the ladder. I was going to say, do I really have to stand on top of this done? Picked a lot of flash bombs. Are the keepers allowed to keep flash bombs? Keepers. I can. I've done it before. You know what would have been a really good uh step out of the shadows and reveal yourself. Someone's still searching. That would be a really good thing to do, it's just like, you know, the Keepers... They should have the mindset that their place is completely safe from infiltration, right? Because nobody knows it, nobody can find it, nobody can see it, nobody can get through the door. It's just like... They should be so... Thanks, game. What's the word? So wrapped up in their own sense of superiority of keeping secrets, they wouldn't even imagine it's an intruder. Heard that? Are they coming? I have to climb back up. So you know that's my thinking, and so it'd be really cool if uh, all their voice lines, when they hadn't actually seen me yet, were all about you know this novice playing tricks here, or uh, or rats, or other stuff. Then you can still come and search, obviously. And still be you know do their normal behaviors but it'd be great if they had a different set of voice lines before for each you know 
before and after they'd actually seen you. And then use, like, I don't know, the signaling system or something to communicate that, oh, there's an intruder here, if they'd actually seen you. Could have done some really cool stuff there. But, I mean, they wouldn't really have affected gameplay, so... It doesn't really matter. Okay. As much as it pains me to see that the standing part of our ancient downtown sanctuary has been a cat house for a few years now, the invaluable knowledge within its books squandered and used as fuel for the fireplaces, being able to watch the new occupants through the statues is a blessing for our pursuit of careful observation and chronicling. Enchanting statues in households is an incredibly hard task, given only to the very best elements of our order. But what are the odds of a derelict keeper compound being used as a hotspot for all these decadent nobles? All these secrets ripe for the picking. As far as I can tell, the tower complex has not been reached by anyone yet except an old tribe of Kraymen. They came in in the subsequent flooding about a century ago with a perfect opportunity for them to proliferate. The scriptorium statue does not permit me to see how ruined the tower complex is, nor am I able to see anything else except scattered books on the ground, cobwebs and blue fences. The other enchanted statue lies at the bottom of the cave in the soil. I wonder if the Chalice of Souls is still there. I think it's about time you and I mounted an unofficial expedition and retrieved our precious tomes and this artifact. Just imagine how handsomely we would be rewarded. Okay, the people hunting for me seem to have calmed down. So they can watch through statues, huh? Creepy, right? Always well, knew all those statues in the city were up to no good. Step out of the shadows and reveal yourself. What? And he's still just... Why is he saying that while he's just trolling? Okay. Well, as long as he's still back to being just patrolling, I'm... Reasonably comfortable with the situation. Where do you think you are, intruder? It's really weird. Is this where I came in? Right, this is okay. Is this floor noisy? This is sheet marble. Didn't look like a noisy floor. Another healing potion. Okay. I guess is there infirmary? Which probably means it's unlikely to have any actual valuables for me. No, it's that northwest door. Oh no, this is the northwest door. So there's a southeast door I haven't been in. No, that's the lavatory. And that's the toilets. Right, so I've been through the whole dormitory. I do want to go out an eastern door. This way, isn't he? I was just thinking maybe I should get back in the air vents since I've explored this entire area. I guess I haven't, I haven't thoroughly done this, but let's go. Oh, I just can't use X, right? X, I'm using X to mark vents. Let's do. Just put a slash mark everywhere I've been. And loot it basically. Not sure about these, it might be, might potentially be loot there. Uh, 
I guess I came through that way. I can go back to the kitchen. I wonder what the interpreter meant by this. Get in the air ducts there. I think there was a branch in the air ducts I didn't follow. Gradient. Where do you think you are, intruder? Um, here? I think I'm here and you're there. Is this... Is that right? Do I win a prize? Weird the way he's just wandering around uh, continually. Mustering to himself. Right, that's where I got the healing potion. So that one's. We've been through both of those, right? No, I didn't go through this one. Because I came from the one with the healing potion. There's nothing here, though. sharp edge on these candles. You go from full blackness to... No, it's not quite sharp. It's not super sharp, but it's like a... Where do you think you are, intruder? You should have a softer edge than that. It's got a very, very, very narrow difference. Very small difference between its radius and the inner radius. So it's not a soup, not a... As sharp an edge as wood, it's just slightly softer. Of course that clip was right. You cannot hide from us keepers. Okay, what I want to do here is put out these. They don't understand. No, they don't mm. understand. I wonder what the interpreter meant by this. are coming. There's nothing there. This is there loot here, maybe? There's a book. There's definitely loot there. And yet I have marked that as I've been there. No, right, it's because it came across here. Sometimes I, swear I, keep it cold. I thought my annotations might be lying to me. My annotations are fine. Oh, I can't get in there. History of the Precursors by Elder Clive. Long ago there was an old empire said to extend beyond the known world and inhabited by an ancient civilization known as the Shamadum. The Shamadum's origins are unknown and their chronicles rely on describing events rather than specific dates. However, the study of their knowledge offers to their readers several answers such as the location of lost prophecies and hidden glyphs or artifacts. The main source of knowledge comes from the seven tablets written by the Council of Fuquan Keeper of the Keys and Warden of the Glyphs, a precursor whose actions have extended the time of his people by two decades with a policy of study and control of magic. Karathin, the capital of the Shamadum Empire, was destroyed by a tremendous earthquake one year after Fuquan's assassination, orchestrated by the Guild of Enlightenment. The mages of the Guild considered his deeds compromising to their ways, disturbing the peace of the sentients locked in their sanctums. They had sac sentients too? Sentients seem to be all over the place. What's that door? Elder, is that you? How did you get in? Shit, I've been rumbled. What's you? What are you doing here, intruder? 
Okay, let's not wait for the kitchen, shall we? Get out of my way, candlestick. Got important business up here. Oh, this is super thin. This could be, <sighs> could be a difficult mantle. It's okay. I guess this has got a second one who's going to be muttering about the intruder all the time. Alright, well we've looted that, so that's good. Uh, I guess I can put an X here, right, so we can get to the vents from there quite easily. Yes, it was an upper level. Nice bedspread. Is this somebody's private chamber? So we came up. That was right up here. Must be this room. Maybe. Door on the north side. Door on the east side. No, that doesn't match. Doesn't match anything I'm seeing right now, unless it's maybe one of these. <gasps> it is here. Okay. Let's put an X there. They don't understand. No, they don't What's understand. His room? The unwritten times are coming. He's got a big beard. Alright, so I want to go in that. I guess that's his bathroom there. <clears throat> or maybe his private study. That's not a bathroom. Uh, well, it's a lot of books for, for if it was a bathroom. <sighs> Another bed. Does this banner hold any secrets? Mm -hmm. I don't want to go in case he turns around and walks up to it again. Mm -hmm. It does indeed. Spirit potion, okay. And some lockpicks. Well, that's actually a good use of that. You know, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, pushing banners aside as a concept. Uh, I'm a it's kind of Most unnecessary to me, but right. it's nice when you want to be sneaky and say, "Hey, look, here's some hidden stuff." It's kind of cool. What the? That book doesn't belong here. They keep, they keep catching me out with that line. It's like, what the? It's like, no, you didn't see me. For a minute, I think they did see me. Okay, this is the... South Tower. Guess we check out the guest chambers. That's the next place. If they have any... Important guests visiting. We should find them in here, right? Maybe I'll take a break from my all banners must die philosophy. I want to let us some water arrows. Not hiding anything down by your bed. Some people like to do that. As if as if it would be secret. In response to your previous message, I do not like the way third keeper Orland aggressively eyes the position of first keeper. Xavier is old and at the end of his days, while Theobald is feeble and weak, put in his position through shameful nepotism. Orland is the most capable to succeed Xavier, should Theobald concede, but I do not think Orland has what it takes to truly rule the Order. He is far too bureaucratic and narrow-minded for that, while we need a person of conviction and wisdom. 
The man is too controlling and is thoroughly obsessed with Garrett, but not in the right way. You know it more than anyone, eh? I truly trust in your judgment regarding our young and skilled friend, and, like you, I do believe he shall eventually return to us, especially with regards to his upcoming tribulations. Mercedes is a lost cause, but not him. Far from it. Orland does not share this sentiment, and would rather have the man hanged and quartered than put his trust into him, even if his very life depended on it. I would like to be proved wrong, but alas, I fear I am right. End. Oh, hello. That's, that's the story, yeah. Using myself here. Alright, let's check this room. Dust the candles. And there's still a strange light above the bed. Guest chambers, okay. The other ones were not the guest chambers. Well, seeing as I am a guest here, it only makes sense, right? For me to come in here. Ah, home sweet home. Alright. Well, while I'm here, I'm going to uh, end the episode. When we come back, we'll uh, see what these lovely chambers have in store for me. Maybe just a good night's sleep.